Uh, Sentil Balaji's arrest has come as a huge embarrassment to both the ruling DMK as well as the, the opposition, the AIA DMK. The alleged corruption uh, it took place under the AIA DMK regime. Although MK Stalin, the then opposition leader, he campaigned against him. Later, he admitted him in the party and even made him a minister in his cabinet. Now, charges framed against the ruling DMK's former minister, V. Sentil Balaji. Sam Daniel gets us this report. Charges framed against the ruling DMK's former minister B. Sendil Balaji 14 months after the Enforcement Directorate arrested him for alleged money laundering with proceeds of the cash for job scam during his tenure as Transport Minister under late Chief Minister Jai Lalita between 2011 and 2015. Balaji, who resigned as minister in February after strong observations by the Madras High Court, called the case foisted and political vendetta. The trial would begin on the 16th. Monday, we are very hopeful that on Monday the Supreme Court will grant bail because all the political leaders who have been arrested by the BJP out of spite of the political vendetta have been released by the Supreme Court in this ED and PMLA cases. So we expect that Mr. Sindhil Balaji will walk out of jail on Monday. Santil Balaji's arrest came as an embarrassment to both the ruling DMK and the opposition AIADMK. The alleged corruption took place under the AIADMK regime. Though MK Stalin, the then opposition leader, had campaigned against Balaji, later he admitted him in the party and even made him a minister in his cabinet. Balaji has been denied bail multiple times. The ruling DMK calls the case political vendetta by the BJP against opponents in states where they are not in power. The Saffron Party has denied the allegations. Incidentally, the AD's conviction rates are less than 1%, just 40 convictions out of 5,000 cases in 10 years. The Supreme Court has asked the agency to focus on its prosecution. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.